decided at Copenhagen Eyes Design Co. to make a series of films that explore all the different elements that make Copenhagen a, a truly bicycle friendly city. And there's a lot of different details involved, a lot of the design and infrastructure details, but we thought it important to start with the big picture. Most cities in the world are incredibly car-centric. We've had 100 years of, of really what has failed traffic engineering and, and planning of cities based on a car-centric mentality. Planners and engineers think car first um, and everybody else is sort of left in the dust. So a, a modern city here in this new millennium is a city that prioritizes differently, that focuses on how to make a city a more livable place, a safer place, a healthier place. And in doing that, you need to prioritize bicycles, pedestrians, public transport. And of course, we focus on bicycle culture at Copenhagen Eyes Design Co. So highlighting these details of what makes Copenhagen so bicycle friendly. I think what defines the big picture of, of, in bicycle planning in Copenhagen is the uniformity of the bicycle network. In, in Copenhagen and in, in Danish cities, there are, there are four types of bicycle infrastructure. Number one is where you don't have any infrastructure. You have a 30 kilometer an hour zone or slower. So bicycles mixed with cars, shared space concept. Um, we do have some bi-directional infrastructure. This is largely on bicycle paths separated from, from the traffic. We don't even have very many of them in Copenhagen. Um, or in between two rural towns out in the country, there's a bi-directional path off to the side. Um, number three is painted lanes. You know, we still have them uh, in some places in Copenhagen. And, uh, and of course, wide enough uh, to accommodate um, you know, two cyclists uh, riding together. And then of course number four, which is the fully separated and protected cycle tracks that you see almost all over the city. Uh, in Greater Copenhagen, there's about 1,000 kilometers of protected cycle tracks in the city of Copenhagen and all the surrounding municipalities that make up Greater Copenhagen. We know that this is the safest. We know that this is what makes people want to ride a bike, makes them feel safe, and, uh, and, and, it, and it keeps them safe as well. When you only have four types of infrastructure, it makes it incredibly uniform. It makes it incredibly easy you know, with wayfinding. Um, it's very logical. You can take your bike on the train and go to any other Danish city, get off the train, and you'll find bicycle infrastructure that you recognize, and you'll know that it'll probably take you somewhere. This uniformity in the Danish design of the bicycle infrastructure here is, is really uh, one of the key uh, elements to making Copenhagen a bicycle-friendly city. I think one of the things I like best about cycling in Copenhagen is that, for example, at no point do I have to push a button like, like a lot of pedestrians do in other cities you know, as a cyclist and, and wait for permission to cross the street. I think um, this is an indication that, that bicycles are taken seriously as transport. I'm riding in Copenhagen, riding a bicycle to the kindergarten, to school, to the supermarket, to meetings, uh, to work and whatnot, um, is a pleasant experience. Even in the middle of a snowstorm or in the 40 degree heat in the summer, the bicycle is the fastest way to get around this city. And other cities, if you make the bicycle, and you really work hard towards making the bicycle the fastest mode of transport from A to B, people will ride. That's why the people of Copenhagen ride. Prioritize the bicycle and they will ride. If you build it, they will come. And I think that what's maybe taken 30, 35 years here, nice and slow, making mistakes, fixing them again, um, and establishing at the end of the day what really is a best practice in bicycle planning. Um, this is possible for other cities to do in, in, in five to 10 years with the right political will and engineers and planners who, who know how to plan for bicycles and who are willing to think bicycle first. Mm -hmm.